hey guys this is KC here so um we're gonna be um working on a tutorial to create the likeness of this particular female character here so I'm going to be showing you guys my process to bring this character into ZBrush, sculpt the likeness, texture, and do a realistic render of this of this model. So let's begin. So, so first things first, I'm going to start by <coughs> bringing in my my references into Photoshop. And do proper alignment for the for the nose, for the mouth, and for the eyes. You know, working with different references for your sculpting. For me, it's much easier for me to sculpt the likeness when I do proper alignment on the references images. So I'm going to be doing the alignment on Photoshop. I'm going to be using a 2000 by 2000 pixel documents, and then dragging my reference images into my document so uh let me just import all of all of this but there's some particular ones i'm going to be needing so well, i'll just drop everything in here then first things first i need to size this up so i'm going to size up the entire image sizing up the entire image just the face just the face and the neck I just need just the face and the neck size all this up So I finished sizing, sizing up the image to the just to show the face and the neck. So our euro shot is going to be this. This is our euro shot. So I'm going to create. Uh, first of all, let me tilt this. Try to tilt this to so it's kind of facing on. In a straight way as much as possible so we're going to look for images that are facing that that is front facing that is facing front it's a, with without any much tilted angle on the neck so i'm going to this one She's not really facing us that much. She has a tilted head on this, so we're not going to use this. Not this. Okay, let's rotate this a bit more. Okay. Okay. Yes, this is also good. Okay, so this is the only one that we have that is kind of facing us more than the others. Okay, this is a very good good one also. Yes, I think we can use this one for the alignment, then kind of make others match that alignment also. Yes, let's use this. So I'm going to be using my rulers and drag this up here, top of the eye line, and then it won't be completely accurate, just need something in there. You just need something in there because obviously the the size of both eyes are not accurately the same. If you look at the eye bag over here, the eye bag over here is not as wide as the one on the right hand side. So 
keeping that in mind i'm just going to use the left eye as my area of reference to kind of properly match but kind of properly match my alignments so um, go close to it and do proper adjustments on this okay let's see so we'll do the same for the lowest part of the nose around here then we'll, we'll do another for the jaw line yes then we'll do now if, if I don't want to use too much lines if I use too much lines it gets a bit more confusing but then I'll drag I think I think the center of the lips I believe around the center of the lips okay <clears throat> that's fine so this is going to be like our main reference for the front view so I'm going to name this to front view front view front view and then <clears throat> we're going to look for another front view that we can use to kind of match the alignments so we can use this so i'm going to kind of roughly roughly get what we need roughly you notice here our lips are kind of open here our lips are a bit open here let's see they can try and tilt the image a bit more kind of gets some kind of accuracy, accuracy to this I'll push this up a bit more the eye back sits around here so I think I need to adjust the size of this a bit more Now the measurement is all over the place. I think it needs to be a bit smaller than this. In here she has a mouth open, so I think I think we can average this out around there because she has a head. She has a head with her head tilted backwards a bit. So the major landmark we need is should be the eyes. Should be the eyes. Something like this should work. Something like this should work. Because she has her head tilted back a bit more. Okay. Okay. Something like this should work. If she had her head tilted on the normal no, normal pose, I believe this alignment should work properly. But let's use, but let's try another front facing reference. Let's try another front facing reference and try to prop properly align this. Properly align this. Now this one, we have to take into account the way our head is being posed. It's not completely normal. The angles are a bit, a bit is off, a bit. So we're going to try to keep in mind, keep that in mind, and then try to average this out with the references. We're just trying to average stuff out with this. Okay, we can now a few of this is kind of correct, a few of this the highs and then the center of the lips. Not very not very much the 
not very not very much the bottom of the nose but i think this is fine we can still work with this i think this is fine we can still work with this if you go back to the original image we used we have something like this which is good enough to work with then the rest we can just average for the rest we can just we can just average those out we have another front facing reference that we can average in so we have this we have this so let's try to average this out also see to the head a bit more I think this one should be really close to the alignment we set so zoom back out a bit zoom back out a bit let's see i think i need to shrink this in a bit more yeah this will work just fine yeah so we have an average of this also just kind of averaging this out okay okay this is fine then we'll do the same i i need to I need to I need to bring one in here also for the center of the face or less the center of the face so not really match the center of the face so let's kind of push that in place let's kind of push that in place okay so it's roughly around the center of the face roughly around the center of the face This also let's kind of push this roughly around the center of the face too. Roughly around the center of the face. Now it, it, the, the images we're taking with a different camera lens, so we can't accurately get the get the actual measurement we need. It's just to rough things out. We just kind of roughing things out a bit. So Let's see. There's rough, roughly around here. Roughly around here. Okay. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> roughly around here. Center of the face, not so sure. But let's leave it roughly around there. Can be roughly around around there. Just fine. And then. Let's kind of get this also in there. Roughly. We can need to increase this a bit more. Yeah, the angle is a, a bit off. So just trying to rough things out slightly just trying to rough this out so i'm going to use the jawline at the center of the lips kind of as you can see this other part is kind of matching the bottom of the nose which is kind of getting a bit more accuracy with the first one we use so the bottom of the nose more or less the center of the lips maybe maybe if we tilt this image to the side a bit more like so we might get something close enough. Then put this down around here, should be fine. 
so roughly around the bottom of the jaw roughly around the center of the legs roughly around the bottom of the nose which is kind of good enough for us to use the head seems a bit off because of, because of how the head is tilted to the to the because of how the because of because of how the head is tilted so we won't get accurate measurements for the eyes so we'll just leave this as it is the nose the center of the lips and the jaw is kind of correct and we can work with that and then the other images I was going to try and match everything as close as closely as we can as closely as we can now this this might not this might not even work correctly because the angle of the face is all over the angle of the face is facing upwards so we may not get this as accurate enough as we need to but that's fine that's fine just need okay let's get this in place so i'm going to tilt this uh the angles are all over the place the angles are not accurate enough we'll just try to average this we'll just try to average this let's try definitely all over the place Let's see if we can have written this out in here. I think this is the closest we can get. I think this is the closest we can get for this. This is the closest we can get. It be just increases. This is roughly what we can get for this. So now that we have this, I'm just going to be saving all these pictures into a different into a different folder to use as reference for my for this copy. Okay, I think we still have one more left. Let's see how well we can match this. Can I get the eyes? Roughly, we have just a uh, yeah, okay. It's roughly there, roughly, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, this for the center of the face, center of the face should be around here, okay. So, now that we <coughs> so now that we have aligned this as much as we can. It's going to be a really tough challenge for me because I'm not very used to sculpting lightness. So I like to see how this turns turns out. I like to see how this turns out. So so that's for that lining up the references with alignment tools or or with rulers to kind of get something close enough that we can work with. Oh yes, I forgot to add. We need to. We need to kind of draw lines for this. We need to kind of draw lines for all of this. So because we, we can't, except if we take a screenshot of my screen like this, but we need to draw lines that we can save with. Because these lines, these rulers, these ruler guides won't save into your, won't save into the JPEG image. So it won't save into the JPEG image. So we need to kind of draw lines. 
I'm gonna draw lines that will hold this for us. So now I have like guides for this now. So you can give them you can give them any color you like, but I think I'll just stick with I'll just stick with this color and I'll just save this out. I'll save this out to save them out to the reference. I'll just save them out. So that's what, that's what, that's what you need to do. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson.